How do we know so much about the hurricane? Well, there are weather satellites, of course, but for the best measurements, they still fly planes right into the storm. And we asked Begad Shaban to ride into the teeth of Irene to show us how it's done. A hurricane hunter flies into Irene every day. We intercepted the storm as it moved along Florida's coast. Carl Newman is the commander. To get to the eye, we basically cut a straight path. We stay low, we punch through low altitudes. The plane crisscrossed the eye of the storm five times as scientists took wind speed measurements, all by dropping GPS tracking systems into the clouds. We're really able to get a nice picture as to what the structure of the storm looks like. And that's really important for knowing what's going to happen in the future in terms of the intensity of the storm. Waves crested as high as 30 feet below. Flying into the eye is very humbling. It's it really, you see the power of nature. We can get wind speeds up 120, 130 knots, and even higher at times. We spent six hours inside Hurricane Irene as she drove north. What we collect today makes a decision for the forecasters, which then affects emergency management, and they would say evacuate or don't evacuate. Because no matter what we do, the storm is still going to do what it's going to do. And by the end of the flight, scientists were surprised at just how well-defined the eye of the storm became just in the amount of time we were there. And Scott, they say that's the sign of a strong hurricane. Thanks, Begod.